when snow frosts the mountaintops and blankets the valleys below, a certain breed springs to life. A clan whose language is spiced with terms like Christiana, Telemark, Arlberg, Parallel, and Slalom. These are the snow worshippers. In other words, the skiers. And here's a specimen all alone in a world of snow. Miles and miles of it, and it's all his. An abominable snowman? Not all go to this extreme, but in what other sport do you work your way to the top just to come down again? Some can't take the time to finish shaving, while others shave too close. For some, keeping an eye on the girlfriend is an all-day job. No other activity allows you so large a stage to show off your talent. While she shows how she shapes up. One of the greatest booms in skiing was stretch pants. more than a fleeting impression on the sport. The boyfriend has some of the attributes of a Sunday skier, coming down a crowded slope without watching out for stop signs. With the mushrooming popularity of skiing, new techniques have been developed with the growth of the sport. The old stiff Telemark and Christiana styles have been supplanted by the Arlberg system and a more fluid use of knee action while the body is held in more perfect balance. Uh-oh, here comes our hero. He lost his girl and now his dignity. Speed and maneuverability have been greatly increased by the parallel or side-slipping technique. With recent refinements in ski equipment and better instruction, your average skier today is better than the pros of yesteryear. The foundation of the modern Austrian technique is the side slip with the traverse position. The stem turn. You extend the uphill leg. Transfer the weight toward the inside. The ski comes back together when your skis are traversing in the opposite direction. And again, notice the weight shift. All you need is a lot of practice and an okay from your instructor to put your skills to a true test on a slalom course. This calls for trigger reflexes and split-second decisions as you zig and zag between the uprights. When you can do as well, graduation day is near. In the downhill speed races, the experts hit 50 miles an hour at times, and that's without brakes. Once in Chile, a skier was clocked at 109 miles an hour over a short course. They never did say if he ever came to a stop. When you can cross skis with experts like this, well, you're king of the hill. Jumping techniques have become so stylized that the best now bend so far forward that they seem to fly, and it's truly akin to that. Jumpers are judged both on distance and form, and these exponents pass their test with flying colors, you might say. They import all of the color and gaiety of a Mardi Gras at carnival time. It's a chance for the imagination to run right. He wants to be the man who stands out in a crowd. His rise in the world was swift, but are you wondering how he gets back to Earth? One guess. It's a simple matter to do an about face on skis. Here's the technique in one easy lesson. Get them pointed in the same direction.
what to do if you find you left some of your equipment at home. Why, double up and go tandem, of course. This reduces the overhead. But we wonder what would happen if Joe wanted to zig and Charlie wanted to zag. Then there's the single-minded skier. After spending something like $10,000 on lessons, equipment, travel expenses, and lodgings, and $398 for liniment, you too can develop into artists like these. Some slide down on their inequity. Our hero is still going strong. But what happened to his girlfriend? He probably took time out to watch this master of the hickory. Let's watch too. Balloons? Skis? The beginning of a fun run in powdered snow. They take to the hills with helium markers attached. Why? It's simple. If someone gets buried in the snow, it makes it that much easier to find them and dig them out quicker. A thrilling sport that offers fun and excitement to the novice as well as the expert.